everyone, welcome to another grocery haul. I'm kind of sweaty because it's a lot of work bringing in all those groceries and everything, but we got it done. We are actually, so I live in BC in Canada and we are actually going through some severe flooding, not in my area, but in areas that directly produce food. Our highway has been completely destroyed, uh, which connects us to the rest of Canada. So we've been having some food shortages. We've also had like hoarding and stuff. It sounds a lot more dramatic than it is. There's still lots in the stores. It's just, you can't be picky with brand names. You have to just get what you get. And so there's a lot of stuff that's out. I still managed to get everything that we needed for two weeks. I will show you and kind of, um, explain the things that I bought differently this time because there were a lot of irregular things that were out. So if you're new here, um, we have four kids. Um, my daughter is almost 10. My stepson is nine. Um, we have a four-year-old son and an almost one-year-old son. So we do buy a lot of food. Our usual grocery budget, not including like non-grocery items, just food budget is 350 every two weeks. Sometimes it's slightly more and sometimes it's slightly less. I didn't get a lot of meat this time because I actually got some whole chickens. I bought a, a set, a pack of three for 20 bucks. And I got um, some ground beef that was marked down uh, about a week ago. So um, yeah, I didn't get a ton of meat. And so I thought I would spend a lot less this grocery trip, but I didn't. But I think it's because I had to get like certain brands that I normally wouldn't get because of the shortages, like cheese, especially. I know I spent a lot more on that than I normally do because I had to get like good cheese. <laughs> but anyways, I will go through and show you everything. Explain what I got. <gasps> everything that we got. I'll start with the non-grocery items, which I'm not including in my final total. It's not food. Got some baby wipes. Um, these are $3 normally, and I got some toilet paper. So there's, um, people are kind of going nuts buying toilet paper, but we're not actually having shortages on it. I was able to find a pack, no problem. I got advent calendars, so I'm also not including this in my total. It was $11 for this tea one that I got for myself. I thought that would be nice to have every night before bed. Um, so I... It's got uh, jasmine tea, strawberry, raspberry, lemon, cherry. I might even cold brew some of this. Pomegranate, Earl Grey, cinnamon, mint, ginger, orange, and blueberry. So I thought that would be nice. 12 days of tea. And then for the kids, I got them each a chocolate one, including the baby. It's Christmas. So there's one. Um, another one for someone. Another one for someone else. I don't know who I bought each one for. And then Noah did want the Paw Patrol one. So... Again, not a food item, but I got that. They didn't have any fries, so I got tater tots instead for the nights when we normally have fries. I'm sure the kids will be thrilled by that, though. Got some deli meat, so normally I would get just ham. Um, but this is, like, all they had. Black forest ham, chicken breast, and turkey. But I'll eat the turkey. I'm sure Gunner won't have a problem, the baby, eating the chicken. Most of the kids prefer ham, though. I got some shrimp. It's a lot cheaper at Walmart than at Superstore, so I grabbed a bag. Probably have shrimp alfredo or something. Some hot dogs for lunches and some cod. Probably gonna do a baked cod with yellow rice, maybe a fish curry. I'm not sure. We'll see. Got some hot chocolate. It's getting colder. Earl Grey for me. It's my favorite. I got cauliflower. We got a Hello, free HelloFresh box the other day. Um, and there's this recipe that called for um, garlic to be mixed with mayo, and then you toss your roasted cauliflower in that and sprinkle a little panko on top. Holy crap, it was so good. So we're gonna do that for a side this weekend. And it's a good side for me, because I'm back on Weight Watchers. Normally we would do potatoes or something, but that's a lot of points for me. So I'd rather have cauliflower. I'm not a big fan of like cauliflower rice or mashed cauliflower, but roasted, really good. Blueberries and grapes for snacks and lunches. Peppers, onions for cooking with. Um, I bought a bag of these the other day because we were really low on fruit. So I actually have two bags of these, three bunches of bananas, spinach for I'm making stuffed shells and also for salads, some apples, um, a little bag of carrots because we still have a fair bit left from last time. Big carrots. Okay, so these are for like snacks and lunches. This is for like salads and cooking. Green onion, I always buy that. Two cucumbers for snacks and salads. Um, I got grape tomatoes. I got some cilantro. I'm gonna try making this mung bean dish. So I got that. Two heads of lettuce. They didn't have my normal package of romaine. So I had to get the two like loose ones. Um, I think that might be it for produce. I feel like we normally have more, but we kind of still had some left from last week. So I didn't need that much. Pickles. These are my husband's favorite pickles. Garlic salt, garlic powder, and parsley. I'm making ranch mix because I love mixing that into burgers. It's really good. 
honey. My daughter loves peanut butter honey sandwiches, so I've got some honey. Bacon for a couple recipes. I'm making bacon cheeseburger, stuffed peppers, and there's something else that's going to go in. Potato bacon soup, I think, and it's just easier and actually cheaper to have this than packages of bacon. We do still have some packages of bacon, though. A couple cans of chickpeas. I got two. Um, they didn't have black beans. I needed that for something. But, um, yeah, they were out, so whatever. I got chickpeas because we're going to do gyros. That is a meal that someone recommended for kids because my kids love, like, tacos, pizza, things like that. And it sounded like such a great idea, like cut up cucumber and tomato, feta, pita, some chicken, um, I, tzatziki. I think they would really like that. So some tuna. This is a zero-point meal item for me on Weight Watchers. Um, so I'll take the points for the bread, but... Tuna being zero is helpful when I'm making a sandwich. Or I have it with crackers. Diced tomatoes for a recipe. This tomato sauce for spaghetti. More chickpeas. Um, I got some pineapple. We're gonna do Hawaiian pizza because I couldn't find sliced pepperoni. Caesar, so I normally do Caesar or ranch for the kids. I use other dressings, but they like ranch or Caesar. So we've been doing ranch for quite a while. I decided to get Caesar this time. This is like the cheapest curry ever. This was $3.77 for this massive thing. And we've been really enjoying curries with like naan bread and stuff and rice. So I got some of that. So I needed spaghetti for a meal. We haven't had spaghetti in a really long time and I have some Italian sausage I wanna use. So I got that. And I grabbed an extra box of pasta just to throw in the pantry. Um, and then I got these jumbo shells for stuffed shells because I have some ricotta left from a couple weeks ago. This is my absolute favorite hot sauce. It is so much better than Frank's. So I got it because normally I don't shop at Walmart, but I did this time, so I got that. Water flavors, we love these instead of juice. So I got three, that was fruit punch. Three different flavors. Pineapple mango is my favorite. Coconut milk for in case I do a fish curry. Um, soy sauce, I'm pretty sure we were running low, so I got some of that. Tzatziki for the gyros and some ice cream. We always have a massive thing of ice cream. These things are only $5 for a huge one. And then I always use the buckets for other things. Turkey pepperoni for snacking. Laughing Cow, this is like my favorite Weight Watchers snack and the baby loves this too. They had no, they had no butter or margarine except for this. This was like 550. Normally I would spend five on the great value butter, but whatever, this is all they had. So it's what I got. This didn't come from Walmart, actually. I stopped in at Shoppers to see what they had and grabbed a block that was on sale for $5.99. So that's helpful for snacking and stuff. This cheese is going to be for snacking. So this was $10, one of the few cheeses they had. This was all the cheese that they had at Walmart, basically. So I got Havarti, and they didn't have cheese strings, which is sad. The kids love those, but whatever. Havarti cheese slices, that's going to be for Steve's snacking cheese and for lunches. 10 bucks for this, like, ouch. Um, this was $5, also ouch, but my daughter only really likes cheese strings and lunches, so I, I hope she'll eat these cheese sticks. Um, this was $12, so kind of pricey compared to what I normally pay for cheese, but I normally pay like $9 or something for 700 grams, but is what it is. Got some pizza mozzarella. I think this was $9. I'll put the price in here though, but we need it for pizza one time this to eat grocery rotation. Got some eggs. These were a good price, actually. No problem getting those. For snacks, some crispy minis. Um, I got these for myself. I wanna spread a laughing cow on them. These for the kids, butter popcorn. Some brown rice. I wanna switch us over to brown rice, over white rice, and we are almost out of our white rice, so it seemed like a good time. Some mini pretzels. So yeah, switching from brown rice, or to brown rice. Some yogurt tubes. The kids do not eat any yogurt except for tubes and whatever. Got creamer for my iced coffee. My husband likes creamer too. What did I say? The milk, of course. Um, this is what happens when your kids come with you. My son really wanted these, so we got them for the for a Friday movie treat. Two boxes of crackers. These are the kind the kid like. Kids like. They didn't have my husband's crackers, so I got these instead. Hopefully, he'll like those. Um, I think I said pretzels already. Yeah, I did. Um, some granola bars. So these were only $1.50 a box for six. So I got 24 granola bars, caramel nuts, and two peanut butter. For the baby, some yogurt bites. So when the kids have tubes, he'll have those. And he got these. He can't have like Nutrigrain yet because um, it has honey and he's not exactly one year old. He's 10 months. So I get him these. This pita is for gyros. 
Um, these wraps are for lunches, like quesadillas or like roll-ups or whatever. I only got one loaf of bread because I've actually been baking bread, so I didn't feel the need to get a lot. Hot dog buns for hot dogs for lunches. And then this is what my 10 month old tends to have for cereal and the kids have this. I'm I only got one bag because um, I'm trying to get them oops, to try other breakfast items besides Cheerios, or sorry, besides cereal. Bag of chips, I had to, this is the only chips they had. They didn't have our regular no name brand. And yeah, that is everything I got. It should last for two weeks for sure. I will put in the total before I finish up the video. But yeah, thanks for watching table it's heavily stained from painting and stuff but here is my meal plan for the next two weeks so orange is breakfast um green is lunches and red is dinners um it's a little messy but whatever so i'm trying to cut back how much cereal my kids eat so still like three days a week we're having cereal but at least it's not every day so on the first monday cereal salad for me hot dog for noah the rest of the kids will be at school um, and bacon cheeseburger peppers for dinner. The kids will probably have sloppy joes out of that mixture. Toast for breakfast, eggs for lunch, stuffed shells and salad, cereal, a sandwich. So sandwich for us is usually just like a peanut butter and honey or peanut butter and jam or a ham sandwich. Um, and then for dinner, bacon cheddar quiche and also pancakes because I don't know if the kids will really eat the quiche. And I figured the next morning we could have leftover pancakes for breakfast or we'll just make enough to freeze. Pancakes, bagels, so oftentimes Thursday is our leftovers day, but I don't think we'll, I mean, the leftovers we're having for breakfast. I can't quite remember where I left off. I think it was around here. So yeah, uh, cereal, snack lunch, pizza and salad on Friday. Um, oh wait, no, the gyros. So um, yeah, I'm excited to try that meal out for the kids. I think it'll be kind of like tacos. They can use their taco plates and have pita, chickpeas, chicken, um, tomato, cucumber, maybe a little bit of feta if they want. I don't know if they'll like that though, but and tzatziki, I think it'll be a good meal. Um, cereal Friday, snack lunch, which is normally peanut butter crackers with ham and a cheese string and granola bar. We don't have cheese strings, but we'll figure it out. And fruit and veggies, um, or it might be like a muffin with all those things. Pizza and salad for dinner. Um, it'll be Hawaiian pizza. Saturday, I like to do a nicer breakfast, so we're gonna do crepes, I think. Um, and then you're on your own for uh, lunch that day and dinner is bacon, meatloaf, and cauliflower. I never plan Sundays. So the next week whoops, is cereal, salad, and chicken strips for Noah, potato bacon soup, toast, eggs, roast chicken. I have a bunch of whole roast chickens in the fridge or freezer. Cereal, sandwich, sausage, spaghetti, bagels, leftovers, stir fry. So pasta is a good one for leftovers. Um, smoothies for breakfast, snack, lunch, for lunch, chicken strips and tots because I couldn't find fries. Bacon and eggs for breakfast on Saturday, probably with some hash browns and on your own for lunch and then that's shopping day. That is my two week grocery haul for a family of six as well as my meal plan. Um, hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you like my content and would like to see more.